All right, in this video, we're going to go over uh, creating uh, stakeout points for curb. Uh, so you can do all your curb staking if the office hasn't given them to you. Uh, so we're going to start out in sketching. Uh, think of this like a Kogo function if you're used to other softwares. Um, so on here, the first thing I want to do, uh, all we're working on is the uh, curb. So I'm going to isolate the layers that interest me. So I don't need the storm and all that. So I'm going to go to my layers. Uh, uh, DXF file and I'm going to turn all the layers off except for 3D back of curb and then uh, I'm going to turn on my spot elevations and this is the layer that my uh, this is the layer that my contours are on so I'm going to turn that on so the first thing I want to do we know we're going to need uh, radius points all over this job so I'm going to go in and create some arcs. Uh, if the file already has arcs in it, if they're not continuous polylines like these, then you can have them create them all in one step. Since these are continuous polylines, and that's how most people receive them from model builders, and we'll just do it this way. So I'm going to hit my sketching functions. I'm going to go to arcs, select the points to define the arc. And this can all be done in the truck. You don't have to be connected to your rover. But I'm going to go to... Uh, PC, begin in the radius, uh, select any point along the radius, and I'm going to select my PT. There we go. And so it's telling me it's a, uh, a five foot uh, radius. Now here I can hit a uh, store radius point, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, give that a code. Do toolbox and new. Once you've created a bunch of codes, they'll stay as a list you can pick from. So we'll call this uh, five foot uh, rad. And I'm going to make my symbol for my radius point so I can see them easily from my, just my regular curve offset points. So I'll just make those a, we'll call it a blue diamond. We'll hit our check mark. So now I have my radius point to stake out. Um, so now I can go to um, around to all the others, do the same thing. Uh, and you can basically comp up the whole job, uh, creating the radius points and stake out points. Uh, now if I want to uh, create my, uh, say it's two foot offsets for the curb machine or four foot offsets for the curb machine, um, I'm going to go into stake out. Uh, it's saying select element to stake out. I'm going to pick that new radius arc that I created. So here's my arc. I'm going to do a toolbox and divide and offset command. Um, I don't want to create any other points, so I'm just going to leave it at uh, no divisions in here. And um, I'm going to, But I am going to change my code to... New, we'll call it a two foot DC uh, We'll make those um, blue X's check. And now I'm going to tell it how much I want to offset those. So I'm going to say I want to do a horizontal offset of two feet. So it projects where those are going to fall. I hit my check. Uh, we can create a stakeout list if you want, and it'll check them off the list as you stake them out and save the values. Um, and uh, it'll also fade them out on the screen so you know you've staked everything out. But uh, we'll avoid that for now. So now you, you can see I have my radius point, beginning and end of radius. Uh, so now if I want to do interval staking so I want to put a stake in every say 25 feet um, I would select the uh, my top back of curve and then say toolbox divide and offset and I'm going to change my code again do a new one we'll call this uh, two foot VOC check and we'll 
just make these um, little asterisks. And we're going to tell it we want to stake every, say, 25 feet. So this shows, uh, now I can go to my offset and check that. It's two foot offset. Uh, one thing to note, if, uh, if it shows them inside the parking lot, this is a little flop button. We'll just flop it from a positive to a negative for you so you don't have to retype it. Uh, so now that I've got that entered, I can hit my check. And now I have my two foot offset stakes. So the last thing we're going to need is, so say there's uh, high points, low points. We want to make sure we catch all those. Uh, so I'm going to go back into sketching. And so, for example, there's a spot elevation right here. So I'm going to make sure I put a stake in right there. Um, so to do that, I'm going to go to my uh, sketching functions, point creation, and we'll do line and offset. So I'm going to select that uh, that point that represents where the uh, spot elevations falling. And then I'm going to select the uh, a point that's down line on the same line. So we'll just go to the end point here. So now that I've got that, I will do a horizontal offset of uh, two foot also shows where it's going to project it to and I'll uh, just for example create another one new two foot offset uh, we'll just say it was a high point check and uh, we'll change the color on them just to make them uh, uh, easy to see that that's one of the high points or low points. So we'll check and hit the green check. And that's how you can go in and create all your high points and low points and uh, make sure you, you know, get water flow in the right direction. So once you've comped up the whole job, you can go back to home, stake out. And now it's as simple as uh, picking what you want to stake out. So right now I've got it where uh, um, so I've got nothing selected. Now you can just select the line and anywhere you walk, it's going to give you a uh, horizontal distance right here and a cut and fill to that top pack of curb. So I can walk around the whole job and just walk till it says two foot, four foot, whatever you want. Uh, or I can stake out any of these other options. So uh, it's simple as clicking on the screen, no bringing up lists or keeping up with uh, 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 sheets to make sure you've checked it all off. Uh, so if I want to do this uh, radius point, let's click on the radius point. It's just going to walk me right to it. And uh, once you get in close, it won't let me get so close on the simulator. But so 100 is pretty good for a radius point. So we can go ahead, pound stake in, right five foot radius on it, and then we can go to our next. So if we want our um, P2 right here. Uh, you can see it's taking me to it. So anything you want to stake out, you just click on it and go. I um, hope this helps and um, hope you enjoyed the video and hope we'll be creating some more here for you. Thank you.